गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी एंड सम इलास्टिक एनर्जी एंड आल्सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द द वेट फॉर्मेशन एंड डिविएशन फॉर्मेशन एंड डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी नव डे वी आर यूजिंग इन द सेवरल फील्ड वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट क्लास and today class is the very important point we are going to discuss why because uh, we should know about the values of elasticity of different materials if we know those values then only it is very easy to solve the numericals otherwise it is very difficult to solve the numericals the many elastic materials or many other substances we are using to convert from elasticity to plasticity but uh, some of the important substances uh, which are always uh, we are using in the numericals as well as day to day life those values of eng's modulus shear modulus we should discuss in the today class that is lecture number 5 that is substance in that substances just commonly many times we are using these substances only just keep in your mind first one is steel second one is glass and third one is copper and fourth one is aluminum and fifth one is iron for these common substances we are using in the numericals as well as neat questions generally we are using and what is the value for eng's modulus of steel uh, at present uh, the science board which is going to fix the values of steel the material science department that those values are going to fix it. the steel eng's modulus is 20 into 10 to the power of 10 similarly and these materials values are fixed we should know about those values and which help us to solve the numericals eng's modulus eng's modulus of steel is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square what is the unit newton per meter square similarly this is 65 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square similarly the copper is that is nearly about 110 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square and for aluminum that is 70 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square similarly for iron is 190 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square just keep in your mind the powers are same the eng's modulus for different substance the power values multiplications values are same only the numerical values are going to change the 200 why this steel material is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 means steel is more elastic than all other substances that's why the eng's modulus of steel is more as compared to other substances then copper is elastic as compared to these materials and second one is iron after steel the iron is more elastic as compared to other substances like this the material science department made a, some columns and these are the some of the important substances i am discussing and more substances is also there we can uh, go through the some other textbooks or other some uh, journals we are going to uh, see those substances and those values also but always keep in your mind these five values and these will help us to solve the numericals 
in the CET also, NEET also, JE also as well as in Karnataka state CET also and in NCERT numericals also we are using these values. Similarly for shear modulus values, shear modulus The steel Young's modulus is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Similarly, the shear modulus of steel is 84 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Keep in your mind, if may Young's modulus, if may shear modulus, steel moduli is the power is same that is 10 to the power of 9, 10 to the power of 9 the only the numerical values are going to change. Similarly, for glass this is 23 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Similarly, for copper is uh, 42 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. And similarly, for aluminum is 25 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square and similarly for iron is that is 70 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square. Always keep in your mind these are the standard values for different substances. If suppose they mentioned in the numericals steel uh, the steel is initially steel length is 5 centimeter again after applying a deforming force the steel length is increases at a certain force that steel is going to deform. You should uh, use this the Young's modulus formula. Why? Because we know that the what is the Young's modulus formula? Young's modulus is equal to FL by A into delta if we know Young's modulus value, we can find how much force is applied on that parti particular steel materials and also we can find the what is the original length of that steel materials or we can also find the what is the change in length after applying a certain force. After applying a certain force, how much length is going to change, we can find if we know the Young's modulus. The standard value by putting the standard weight that is F is equal to M into Z L by A into delta L. Thus, material science department they made a standard mass with respect to acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 meter per second square by using standard mass and acceleration due to gravity and per unit length they find the values 200 into 10 to the power of 9. Similarly, they made a column and these are the values which are going to use in the numerical to solve a particular length or particular change in length or particular force applied on a particular materials and this table is very useful for us to solve the numericals. Always keep in your mind these five are important and many other substances is also there. You can go through the some textbook uh, and find the values of Young's modulus, shear modulus. Why we are not mentioning the bulk modulus means bulk modulus. Why we are not mentioning bulk modulus means keep in your mind what is bulk modulus? It is the ratio of volume stress to volume strain. If suppose initially its volume is steel volume is this much. After applying a force, after applying a deforming force or volume stress, definitely its volume is going to change. Definitely its volume is going to change. This change in volume is depends on its original volume and it is not depending on these values change in volume and original volume its values is fixed. Even though this material is steel 
if suppose initially if steel material is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 the steel materials modulus is not going to change if suppose its volume is going to change the modulus is fixed that is 200 into 10 to the power of 9 it is going to cancel it is a unity it is a unity that is why we cannot see the different substances bulk modulus in the form of substances or in the form of standard values. We can use for bulk modulus is also the steel material values is 200, glass is 65, copper is 110 and aluminum is 70 and iron is 190. And some of the books they mentioned the standard values for bulk modulus is also, but powers are same only the fractional values are going to change. Those are the, their comfortability, they are choosing the values in the form of different powers. But keep in your mind, even this bulk modulus is also, the moduli value is 10 to the power of 9, 10 to the power of 9, 10 to the power of 5, 9, 10 to the power of 9. We can also write like this also. Directly we can write like this, we can write like this, uh, if suppose Young's modulus, just keep in your mind, Young's modulus, many times they are converting the powers in the form of uh, numbers uh, that is shear modulus. Listen here, if suppose I am considering steel, we can write like this 200 into 10 to the power of 9, just keep in your mind here only in the bracket 10 to the power of 9 Newton per meter square, just you remember 265 and 110 and this is 70 and this is 190, just you remember numbers only, the powers are same for Young's modulus as well as shear modulus. Here you just you remember that is first one is steel is 84, second one is 23 and third one is 42 and fourth one that is aluminum is 25 and fifth one is 190, just keep in your mind in the form of numbers. Why? Because the powers are not going to change. Even that material Young's modulus or that material shear modulus, even bulk modulus is also the powers values are not going to change. Just to keep in your mind always in the form of numbers, these are the values. And how to remember these five uh, substances very easily means just keep in your mind SGC and AI. A I just keep in your mind uh, many other ways are to remember the values just keep in your mind SGC Sri Guru College just keep in your mind SGC values here is 200 that is for steel is maximum uh, elastic that is steel materials and minimum elastic is glass it is a brittle material it is very easy to break the elasticity properties and uh, second one is iron. Similarly for shear modulus as well as bulk modulus also, just remember these values for the purpose of numericals. And the next things we should remember the formulas to solve the numericals and already we discussed the concept and just those concept you just mentioned separately. In the form of formulas, we discuss the first thing, thing is elasticity. What is the difference of elasticity and plasticity? Elasticity means the material which regains after removal of deforming force. Perfect elasticity means the material which regains perfectly. The initial shape and final shape is very perfect in nature. 
those type of material we called as perfect elastic bodies and those substances we called as perfect elastic substances. If the materials initial shape and final shapes are going to differ that is also elastic, but that is not a perfect elastic materials. We can say that uh, copper as compared to steel, steel is more perf more elastic than copper. The steel is perfect elastic in nature as compared to copper and as compared to copper the glass is less elastic why because it is not going to regain perfectly as compared to copper. Similarly like the substances are varying elastic properties and also deforming forms also. The deformations changes with respect to different substances. The substances are differ, the deformation is also differ. The deformation is completely depending upon the Young's modulus values. Why? Because Young's modulus means we are discussing about the length only, the variation of length, the variation of length, length means Young's modulus, the shapes are going to change means bulk modulus, always keep in your mind. We are discussing Young's modulus, bulk modulus as well as shear modulus, Young's modulus means we are discussing about the length only. What is the formula for Young's modulus? Y is equal to F L by A into delta L or we can also write like this Young's modulus is equal to F M into Z into L by area into delta L. Sometimes we are using this formula also. And second one is shear modulus is same similar formula. Shear modulus that is neta which is equal to F L by A into delta L. Already we discussed these things. We can also write like this M G L by A into delta L. Sometimes we can also M A also mass into acceleration due to gravity. We know that. What is the assign it for this? Newton per meter square and this is also Newton per meter square. And if comes to the bunks modulus, bulk means we are discussing about the volume. But sometimes it is very difficult to discuss the bulk modulus with respect to pressure. Pressure means we are applying in all the directions that is external deforming force. We are applying a pressure on this particular materials. Here we are applying a stress. Stress means bulk modulus. Why? Because what is the bulk modulus formula? Volume stress. Volume stress by volume strain volume stress by volume strain. Here we are applying stress, here we are applying stress. If some of the numericals they mention the pressure, why because pressure is equal to force acting per unit area, stress is also same force acting per unit area. Here pressure is force acting per unit area, stress is also force acting per unit area, but only one difference is here we are applying a applied force, deforming force that is here we are applying a internal restoring force. If suppose here restoring force is absence means we can say that we apply the force acting per unit area is called as a pressure. If there is an internal restoring force on these materials then we call it as a stress. That is why stress means restoring force, restoring force acting per unit area. But here is stress means, pressure means Generally we are saying that applied force, 
acting per unit area here also if suppose we applied a pressure on this material its material volume is going to change here we are applying a force on all the direction means its volume is going to change volume is going to change instead of this duster if suppose we are using a steel materials that ability to regain its original shape or size that we called as a restoring force that ability is absent the ability is in this materials is absence means definitely we called as a pressure just keep in your mind always the what is the difference here we applied a deforming force in all the directions the material which absence the restoring force but in those type of materials there is a internal restoring force that internal restoring force helps the materials to regain its original shape and size after removal of deforming force but here the material is not going to regain its original shape and size after removal of that external applied force external applied force the materials which does not regains we are applying a force in all the direction that type of force acting per unit area we call as a pressure the materials after removal of deforming force which regains its original shape this is the initial volume this is the change in volume this is the initial volume this is the change in volume after removal of this deforming force the material which come back to its original shape or size original configurations then that type of force applied is called as restoring force developed in these materials if the deforming force is developed on a particular materials that force acting per unit area is called as stress if the deforming force is removal the material which does not come to its original state or original shape or size that type of force acting per unit area is called as pressure these are the common difference of pressure and restoring force which are we are using in the bulk modulus that's why it is very difficult to find the standard values for bulk modulus for each material we can find individually but that varies it depends on mass as well as it depends on force applied that's why we can't mention the standard values for particular materials we should find that material mass as well as force then only it is very easy to find the bulk modulus standard values okay then after this we discussed about the hooke's law also and also we discussed the poisson's ratio and also we discussed the elastic strain energy then we discussed about the brittle materials ductile materials elastomers then we discussed also some of the definitions of elastic limit as well as plastic limit and some of the definitions of elasticity also okay then here is for some important points for the solving the numericals sometimes in the numericals they mention isothermals we'll discuss these things in the uh, thermodynamics chapters in detail what is isothermal process adiabatic process isochoric isochoric process we'll discuss in that thermodynamics chapters but sometimes they mention the numericals on the basis of isothermal as well as adiabatic isothermal elasticity and adiabatic elasticity the elasticity possessed by a gas possessed by a gas but this chapter is solids
that's why these things we discussed in the thermodynamics or in the fluids chapters we'll discuss these things in detail but uh, many times they asked on the basis of gas also this is also elasticity adiabatic processes also on the basis of gas conditions uh, the elasticity possessed by a gas in isothermal condition is defined as isothermal elasticity that isothermal conditions means here pressure volume are going to change pressure is also going to change and volume is also going to change the temperature is constant why i am discussing here means sometimes we heat a steel materials suppose we heated the steel materials means its elasticity is going to decreases as temperature increases temperature increases elasticity of that materials is going to decreases not only steel all types of substances its elasticity is going to lose if temperature increases elasticity is decreases that's why pressure in terms of pressure sometimes we are considering as stress also stress volume are fixed temperature is constant means these two things are going to change if the stress applied is different for different materials and volumes for steel is compression is less for iron is more or iron is more or steel is less the volume also changes pressure is also changes but temperature must be constant why because if temperature increases elasticity decreases and the properties are going to lose elastic properties are going to lose that's why always keep in your mind temperature must be constant but in this adiabatic process in this adiabatic process pressure is also changing volume is also changing temperature is also changing temperature is also changing temperature changes but heat exchanging is constant heat exchange where we are going to exchange this heat from materials to substance for example let us consider this chalk i am going to give a certain heat for this chalk but this chalk certain amount 30 degree temperature but surrounding temperature does not occupy by that 30 degree celsius temperature and that 30 degree temperature is also not going to mingle with the surrounding temperature and there is no exchange of heat from this chalk as well as the surrounding there is no exchange exchange of heat is fixed or it is not going to change it is constant not change or we can also say that that is constant and these things we'll discuss in detail in the thermodynamics chapters in the some of the numericals they mentioned variation of pressure volume temperature is constant that type of elasticity we called as isothermal process if the pressure is also changes volume is also changes and temperature is also changes the heat exchange is constant that type of elasticity is called as adiabatic elasticity these things we sh should keep in your mind uh, in important bits and some factors are going to depend some factors are going to depend some of the factors those factors are factor affecting the elasticity what are the factors are going to affect the elasticity means
first factor is very important is temperature if effect of temperature already discussed these things effect of temperature the very important factors if the temperature increases or decreases temperature increases or decreases the elasticities are going to change the temperature going to increase the temperature is going to increase then the elasticity is decreases elasticity is decreases if temperature increases elasticity decreases if the temperature decreases elasticity increases even its values are going to change young's modulus bulk modulus and shear modulus values are going to change with respect to different substances but the values for steel values for iron values for copper is remain same even it decreases or it increases elasticity increases decreases it is not going to affect the values of young's modulus shear modulus those values are fixed even its elasticity increases or decreases but keep in your mind its elasticity decreases means which is going to convert as plasticity which elasticity increases means definitely it is going to convert from plasticity to elasticity that is very rare case always the material which is going to convert from elasticity to plasticity but it is very difficult to convert from plasticity to elasticity that is the processes are there the many processes hammering processes annealing processes we can convert from plasticity to elasticity also but that is very difficult the many times we are using from elasticity to plasticity only second one is the materials sizes are going to change initially the chalk piece is this much of length after applying a force its chalk piece are going to two pieces means small size it is going to convert it is going to defect that we call as effect of impurity effect of impurity effect of impurity instead of this chalk particles i am going to mix with some other mud particles it is not possible to write and it is not possible to visual also very clearly vision is also going to vary not going to clear why because impurity is going to add it if suppose um, impurity is going to add it in that particular elastic materials elastic materials means elasticity materials decreases with increase in temperature and if suppose impurities elasticity can increases or decreases if impurity materials that depends on which type of materials we are adding on that particular materials if suppose i am considering steel in that steel i am going to add a materials like iron elasticity is decreases for steel and elasticity is increases for iron it depends on how much impurity is going to added on steel and how much impurity is added on iron that is also very important how much impurity is going to add on that particular materials and this is the second factor which is going to affect the elasticity very important factors first one is temperature second one is impurity uh, a pure materials uh, elasticity is more 
if suppose any impurity is added on that particular substances, its elasticity is decreases may increase us. It depends on how much uh, impurity is going to add it on those materials that is very important. Third one is that is hammering and rolling. Hammering and rolling means hammering and rolling. Hammering and rolling means uh, this is the one the process which is going to convert from uh, large scale object to very small scale object like that uh, we can convert from uh, crystal grain break up into smaller units. Uh, for example, we can say that uh, a big uh, unit cell we can convert as small unit cells, different unit cells and this chalk is break into number of pieces this is the small unit of this chalk only which is going to convert from crystalline grain to small units that is breaking or the hammering and rolling processes we can say that and last one is annealing processes that is the process which by heating that materials are going to change its elastic process. Annealing. Annealing is the process which is the materials elasticity is changing by heating. Just keep in your mind these are the factors are going to uh, affect the elasticity and in detail it is not so important. Just keep in your mind the factors which are going to affect the first is temperature, second one is impurity and third one is hammering and rolling, fourth one is annealing. Just keep in your mind these headings only. In details it is not necessary and it is also not mentioned in your syllabus in detail just keep in your mind those headings only. Second one is first one is effects of temperature, second one is effect of impurity, third one is effect of hammering and rolling, fourth one is effect of alleling that is nothing but heating, we can say directly heating, heating is also affects the elasticity or annealing. The process of heating this is the, these are the factors which is going to affect the elasticity. And just keep in your mind this important formula to solve the numericals. The first one is that is Eng's modulus that is FL by A into delta L, second one shear modulus that is that is also FL by A into delta L, and third one is bulk modulus that is force acting per unit area here is also FV by A into delta V. We can also convert this formula in the form of Ng MgL by A into delta L, this is Mg L by A into delta L and this is force acting per unit area that is that is volume that is volume force acting per unit area by change in volume with respect to original volume. We can also write directly this force acting is nothing but a pressure pressure into volume with respect to change in volume, we can also write like this. Sometimes they mention in terms of pressure, already I discussed that important points the pressure and the stress differences. We can also say that these are the important things and that is uh, the elasticity variation in the form of that is 
how much uh, that is uh, bending or how much uh, the elastic property which is going to lose dip that is dip delta is equal to mgl by uh, Young's modulus that is uh, we can also say that that is Young's modulus we can write lastly this is 4 times of bdy this is cube and this is cube just keep in your mind this formula how much diff is going to act on particular bridge and lift that is mg we can also write that is w l cube by 4 times breadth and depth and angst modulus l cube d cube that is mg l cube 4 d cube y that is or we can also write mg in terms of w l cube 4 times of spread, depth and y and these are the important formula and uh, last one is that is Poisson's ratio Poisson's ratio this is also very important formula that is lateral strain lateral strain by longitudinal strain longitudinal strain lateral means we are discussing about the uh, that is diameter that is change in diameter by original diameter longitudinal means length that is change in length by original length we can discuss numericals on the basis of this formula we will discuss remaining things in the next class thank you I said, but